Well, now let's go to our former teen idol and Africa 54 with sports anchor, Sonny Young. Welcome, Sonny. Thank you, Vincent. And sporty greetings once again to our Africa 54 viewers. Our special guest today is Robbie Russell, Ghana-born defender, uh, retired earlier this month from D.C. United and Major League Soccer. Robbie, welcome to the Voice of America. Thank you for having me. Caps and gowns, uh, time for students to graduate from high schools and universities. But for you, Robbie, you're beginning an educational journey. Tell us about that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm um, looking to get my uh, medical doctorate. Um, I'm attending a post -bac program at Georgetown University, um, actually, which starts next week. Now, how did you become interested in becoming a doctor, Robbie? Um, <clears throat> science has always been something that, that's interested me ever since I was in high school and younger. Um, and along the way, uh, I, I have been bit by the injury bug at times. <laughs> and I think it was one of those things combined with my friends and family were all in the medical profession. Um, it got me really interested in, in the field and, and something that I want to pursue. Robbie, you've played all over the world uh, during your professional career. We have some of your jerseys uh, here on the couch and on the table. Uh, one of your highlights uh, from four years ago was uh, scoring the game-winning penalty kick uh, in the MLS championship match. Let's take a look now at that goal. Robbie, how does that rate, that kick uh, there in, uh, I think it was Seattle, was that? It? Yeah, it was. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I still have goosebumps <laughs> on my arms. Um, it's, it's something that I'll, I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Uh, I, I, it was unbelievable. What are some of the other highlights from your career, Robbie, as you look back now? Um, I, I mean, I, I've had a career that I, I can honestly say I've been blessed. Um, it's one of those things where if you had told me at the beginning of my career uh, I would have ended up doing the things that I've done, I never would have guessed it. Um, I actually brought some uh, examples of that. Um, you know, at the end of games, it's traditional whenever you play a, a foreign team to switch jerseys. Um, and so this is when we played Arsenal in the UEFA Champions League. The Gunners. That's right. <laughs> um, and this one over here is when we played Saprissa in the CONCACAF Champions League. So uh, those are some major highlights um, that I've really enjoyed uh, in my career. Now, you've played in Europe, you've played in the United States. Uh, talk a little bit about Major League Soccer. Do, do you see that league, a, a young league overall, uh, developing? I, I hope so. Um, I, I think for soccer in America, there is a lot of, of, of a bright future, a lot of hope surrounding this league. And, um, you know, right now it seems to be growing every year. And, uh, you know, we, I continue to hope that this, you know, path um, is the way the MLS goes and that it, it is around for a long time. Finally, Robbie, uh, you were born in Ghana. Do you have any tips for maybe a, a young African player who might be tuning in this evening? Uh, what, what would you have to say to them? Um, I, I honestly don't have any tips. I have some good memories. Uh, I remember for the first time I went back to Ghana to play, um, everyone called me Oburoni Kokron. <laughs> which means little white boy. Um, and I, because the only reason they let me play is because I was the only one with the ball. Um, and so uh, I, I would go out to the park every day and get absolutely hammered. They would just, you know, tear me apart. And it really was the first time that I discovered my love for the game um, was, it was on those trips. Thank you, Robbie. Robbie Russell, uh, good luck in your medical career. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>